the choices you make and specifically the way you choose to see God matters. How you choose to interpret the circumstances of your life matters because what you choose to believe about Him is who you'll show others that He is. Will you choose to see Him through the eyes of fear and doubt or through the understanding of a God who not only loves us, but is love? Join me today as we learn to see Him rightly, as we learn to choose love. Hey there, I'm so glad that you are taking time to watch Choose Love again. I want to specifically first address those of you that have not quite yet made the leap over to watching the full episodes on Restore 7 TV. Um, I want to let you know why we've decided to do it this way. Um, we created this platform for online digital streaming called Restore 7 TV. It's an app that you can use on any smart TV or device like your iPad or your phone. I prefer to watch it on my TV um, when, when I can because it's a big screen and we've got some great quality, um, excellently produced content that's just a better experience when you watch it on a larger screen. Certainly you can also use your phone or iPad. Um, but, you know, prior to us uh, creating this platform, we put everything full episodes up on all of our social media like Facebook and um, not on Instagram because you can't put whole episodes there but on uh, YouTube and on Rumble and you know we realized number one that's social media and that is a place where um, people are used to getting episodes of things like that but honestly it's just a big distraction and it's a place where um, there's so much censorship and we want to be able to freely discuss all of the things that we have to bring to the table for you guys. And we also want to help you create an appetite for you for something that's new that you typically won't find on um, those normal platforms. In addition to Johnny's and my programs, we also have um, content from a lot of other friends that we've come to know that are experts and pioneers in each of these areas of culture. And literally for years, we have put together content um, really to equip you, to encourage you, to inspire you, and to entertain you in the process. You'll find courses on there. Um, in fact, we recently added our RISE course. So what used to um, be on another platform that you had to pay for, because we had to play, pay for it, is now for free um, on our Restore 7 TV app. And just because I didn't mention it, the whole app is free. You are welcome to download it for free and you have access to everything on there for free. Um, so I'm gonna talk for a few minutes and then it's gonna cut off and hopefully I've given you enough that you'll wanna make the effort to go watch the rest of this full episode, 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 episode over on our app, Restore 7 TV. And the way you find that on a TV is, the way I do it is I just literally talk to my uh, remote control that I love that feature on there. If you don't have that feature, you go to the apps and you search Restore 7 TV and you can put it in as the word restore, the number seven and TV. So hopefully you'll find us over there and find lots of other great content that you'll be excited to um, listen, watch as you're going about your daily life and equipping yourself, encouraging yourself in the Lord. Today on Choose Love, I want to address you know, the sadness that's in our lives. And I don't know about you, but I've had plenty of sad days, definitely moments in my life. I've also had seasons where I was so, I would say for years, used to being sad, that if someone had asked me if I was sad, I wouldn't have even known that I was to say yes. And I think there are a lot of people that have experienced um, enough difficult things in life that, that they've walked around, and maybe that's you, you've walked around sad for years. And, um, you know, you deserve better than that. God created you 
to live from a place of, of joy and happiness. And, and sad is an important emotion. It's an emotion that you can't go through life without experiencing, but we weren't created to stay stuck there. I was um, going through a course. Uh, this is actually one um, that Brian Frizey on Someone You Should Know um, talked about. It's by Laura Duncan called Triggered and True. And in this course, it's kind of an inner healing course. I haven't done something like, like this course in many years. So I thought, you know, I think it's important and time for me to go back and just, uh, you know, give the Lord an opportunity to go after anything that may have crept in that I'm unaware of or peel another layer of that onion of, of wholeness in my soul. So all of that to say, um, she reminded me of something that I learned years ago that there are three core emotions that really every other feeling and emotion, if we get down to the root or the why behind it, it all comes back to these three emotions. And they are loneliness, um, being scared or fearful, and sad. And I, I, I was thinking about just how much that emotion of sadness um, is is invasive in everything. It, it affects our physical health. Um, we also know of the word sadness as the word depression. And it can affect um, relationships for sure. It affects, um, I think we get, when we get stuck in sadness or depression, we get stuck in a loop of we don't feel like even fighting for something better because we're so sad and depressed. And so it's, a, it's an easy one to stay stuck in. So what I want to, um, to you know, jump into today is the subject of how to live truly happy. And I think as Christians, we'll, we'll talk about, learn a lot about this idea of joy. And I know that joy is something that is deeper than happiness. Um, happiness is more maybe of a surface emotion where 